Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Space Hulk Tactics playthrough as the Gene Stealers. Where we have been killing some Dark Angles apparently, because apparently I can't spell and, and called them Dark Angles in my last video's title. So, but no, I think they're Dark Angels rather than Dark Angles. Anyway, this time we've got the mission called The Power of the Librarian, guys. So, uh, we're going to be jumping straight into this. Oop, sorry about that. Surrounded and cut from their boarding craft, the Dark Angels regrouped around the mighty Lexicanum Lathriel to form the spearhead of a breakthrough attempt. For the Brood, it was a new test, their first battle against the ethereal power of a Psyker. Okay, to so kill the Librarian, and a, a bonus to kill the Heavy Weapon Bearer. Um, I'm going to stick with our current setup. Oh no, did we get Reaper Flex? No, not quite yet. He needs to give us more, so yeah, I'm keeping this setup. I should have possibly looked if I could upgrade, though. Actually, I quite like saving the upgrades until I need them. So right now, we are going to go find and destroy that librarian, guys. Or at least that's the plan. We'll see what actually happens, because as, as is wont to happen, things could go horribly, horribly wrong. This I know not how, but the orcs that once lived on this wreck managed to bring a psionic lock holding it closed. I'll disable it, then we can extract. For the lion, Gaswing, attack! Oh, not quite as satisfying as killing, as killing uh, ultramarines. So I'm going to spawn behind them and to the side. I'm going to focus fire this group first. Where's the heavy weapon? Heavy weapon's there, so. I will throw some that way. But so long as I get... I'm still confused. Did they change Dark Angels so they have white paint schemes at some point? Because I'm sure I remember them being dark green. Or is it their death company, or not their death company, their death wing are white, or I don't know. My 40k law is about 15 years out of date, so. Where did he cast that? So they have to get through there. Oh, there, which isn't actually useful for him. Oh wow, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's a shame. Though we're gonna get nice and close, nice and quick. They are, however, pushing straight forwards. I kind of wish I hadn't spawned the guys behind. Uh, let's convert that. Okay. We definitely can't do subtle ways. Oh, actually we can. Hmm. They didn't look that way, so they can't actually see them yet. Just 
try and turn somebody around to look at that. Hmm. What's this console do? We can get a miasmic on one of our on a single blip one. Not if we have any single blip ones. See, I always forget about that move and shoot, or used to always forget about that ability to move and shoot as a marine. Which is very useful when you're moving towards doors. Oh, has the librarian given him... Because he apparently only ha already has zero. Um... I may have won already. Oh no, that's bad. That was always a danger with that, but I thought it was worth the risk. But if he's got zero action points already... They must be going to use some squad action points, because one, two, three, four, five... Oh, I can actually spawn there and get some extra attacks, potentially. Really? Both there. Go to my actual phase. Cast that on him. Move up. I mean, it is AI. They're not necessarily the smartest, but... Victory! No, the Nexus column is dead, and we are trapped. There is no way out but to follow him into death. Yep, that's right. Follow him into death. We must face the bitter truth. We are trapped here with a ravening enemy and no means of escape. So die well, brothers, for the legacy of Taliban. I, I didn't get the secondary mission, but still. That felt too easy. Defeated and scattered, their forces isolated in the depths of the Space Hulk. The Dark Angels were doomed. Gene Stealers came upon them from all sides, driven mad by the stench of blood, and so the carnage was wrought. So we now have a choice. Kill the sergeant before he activates the console, or... Kill the sergeant before he activates the console? Assault? Um, they look exactly the same. Different bonuses. The Reaper Flex must survive. Unlock the marked door. That's probably more likely. But even in the face of hopeless defeat, the Space Marines are formidable adversaries. While swarms of gene stealers gathered for a massive assault, the Death Wing had a final option, a last mission to accomplish. If they could transmit a Vox signal, they could send a warning, a desperate call for the Imperial Navy to find the Forsaken Doom and blast it into oblivion. Here we go. Gives us a freer. What's the card do? He gets plus two. Yeah, we'll get that. Uh, yeah, we'll upgrade that too. Mm, swap one of these out for the Reaper Flex.
while having those better xenomorphs is very good. I generally don't use them that much simply because it costs too... It's too expensive to convert them. I don't feel, other than in very specific circumstances, it's better to have a faster or a tougher gene stealer when I could have three instead. I mean, not that I can necessarily have three instead. Uh, but, you know, I don't feel replacing two gene stealers is actually that good. Oh, we're in the, El the Eldar bit. The advance of the gene stealers forces us back to this ancient Eldari wreck. There is no way forward, but we are not done yet. There are alien energy cores here still active. We can make use of them. Brothers, if we can draw power from the Eldari energy source, the Vox Beacon I carry can send a warning further afield, but the beacon must be protected at all costs. Energy core located. Position marked. Our end may already be fated, but we can still ensure the Imperium endures. Repent, for today we die. Yep, they're right about that. So that's the door they want us to unlock. We'll spawn here then. Because if I spawn here, I can go through there to get right behind them. Whereas if I spawn here, I have to batter my way through that door. Interesting. Brother, my Auspex is reading a signal of Imperial origin. From the fleet? No, it appears to be coming from the depths of the Space Hulk, far deeper than this Eldari wreck. The coding icons are ancient, on the order of several thousand years old. A mystery then, a question we have no time to answer, kinsman. I, but I cannot help but wonder what secret lies down there, as our obsession with the Fallen blinded us. Do you think that story related? I suspect I'll find that out in the other storyline. Ooh, so he's going that way, which will block... Ooh. Kyle. Don't open that door, oh, you. That's annoying. Oh, no, that's fine. Depending on where the others go. Okay, they've got a beamer, two beamers. Unlocking this might be hard, but what I can do is I can just charge it and rip it apart, which I don't think will count. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six. Oh, there was no point in doing that, because I can't actually, uh... And you can get through there. I thought it only gave me one there, I was confused for a second. melee that door down. Well, that's a bit annoying. Oh, he can just skip doors. I hadn't... Ah, that's cool. I hadn't realised they could do that.
So actually, I should have kept the tour and spawned a Reaper Flex there. We know for the next time. Yep, and Reaper Flex have eight action points, guys, as well as being able to do that. No, I hadn't realized they could do that. That makes them a bit more useful. What we're gonna do? Mm. Wait, what? Come here and open this. Can I not use the console? How am I meant to unlock the door if I can't use the console? I can attack it from this side. Now we can open it. There we go. Get a harmless little blip out. You can hold there. You can get a minus one for the future. The signal sounds again. Stronger this time. Clearer. Can it be so? It bears the imprint of only terror. The signifiers of the Adeptus Custodes. An echo from the Golden Throne. How is that mm -hmm. possible? I do not know, brother. The signal fades now. Once again, lost to the ages. Now we need to be a bit careful here. Ooh. <laughs> I think they got us. That said, we can still zerg across here quite easily. We're in a good position. One, two, three, four. I'm a little concerned. That said, oh, I'm going to be cheeky. So we're going to disappear to the other side of this door. One, two, three, four, five. And we could potentially get him. Hmm. Do we want to make a freer? Probably this one, to be fair. It's a bit risky revealing, but... So lucky. Now we're going to try and be a bit. Oh, did I need to move them first? So we're just sneaking to the other side there. Oh, damn. We've got the link portals, which we already know about. It's telling us about there. 
I was expecting to get up behind him there. Um, I'm a bit gutted by that, actually. That said, he's got a choice now. Yeah, he's dead. That simple. I'm going to use these guys to try and jam him. Then we'll attack him from behind and turn him around. If we don't kill him, my reflex will come in. And we've got some nice, good, solid things to use there. And I honestly don't care about anything else they've got. <laughs> and they're watching that blip because they don't know that it's just a blip. Pride, honor, devotion, these noble human feelings meant nothing to the monsters in the void. The Deathwing Terminators died fighting, but no honor was won, no knowledge earned. In the derelict's blood-spattered chambers, the Gene Stealers returned to their slumber, their alien rage and thirst for flesh briefly sated. Nice. And we got the secondary objective. Next one. Oh, space wolves. I like killing space wolves. Okay, guys. And we are going to be ending this one here because I think... Well, something's happening in the background. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. Please feel free to pop any comments in the comments section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord in the comments and the description, as well as links to my Twitter and my Patreon. Thank you very much for your time, guys.